You guys, we have to record a video. Come on, Dante, come. Good boy. Come on, Peachy, you too, you too, good girl. Come on, Dante. Hey guys, Ugh, I got a puppy here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, Peach says hi to you all. First off, before I start off this video, I wanted to thank all of you guys for the positive feedback and for welcoming her into our family and already loving her and leaving your really, really nice comments. It's made this week be very nice. So, thank you all. Update, let me give you guys a quick update on her, on how we've been um, with Peach in the mix. So Peach, she is very shy in the house, obviously because she was taken out from where she was with all her siblings. I, you know, I, I feel like she was kind of feeling out her boundaries. And with Dante, Dante was trying to understand what this dog was doing here. Dante likes to have his things. He likes to have his couch. He likes to have his his bed. They're both a little bit awkward. They're both, they both trying to figure each other out. That's what I think. Um, but after they got very comfortable with each other, they started playing, they started cuddling a lot. Um, with the playing, we had to watch Dante and make sure that he was being even more gentle than what he usually is because he's used to playing with his friend Leroy and he's already pretty much, Leroy's practically full grown, so they play pretty rough. So we had to keep an eye on them for that first week just because we didn't want Dante to like sit on her or something, you know? things that I uh, we've been trying to work on with her a lot is the potty training so for potty training we're teaching her to go outside and the way we're doing that is obviously every time she does something outside we praise her a lot give her a lot of positive reinforcement and we also are trying to keep a note and keeping tabs on her for example we know that after she takes a long nap she's usually needing to go for a pee so as soon as she wakes up, we put her outside and wait for her to do whatever she needs to do and then congratulate her. Even if she is in mid-pee and we didn't catch her before, we pick her up and we put her outside. And so far, she's getting it. Um, a couple of times she has cried at the door to be let out to go to the bathroom, so she's understanding. Again, it's something that you have to work on. It takes a while for them to get it. There's still a lot of accidents. But it's a work in progress, and once she gets it nailed down, she's going to be great. Just like Dante. Right, Dante? He said yes. So for this video, uh, you guys are going to be following us for a week. We're going to be focusing on obedience training with her. That includes fight inhibition, sit, down. Those are the things I want to focus on right now. It's important for her to start nailing these things since she's little, so that when she's big and powerful, she understands that, hey, I have to listen to Michelle and even if there's a really cool squirrel over there I have to say it or do down or whatever it's really great for our relationship as an owner and as puppy because it allows me to spend more time with her and it really forms like a bond and you guys are gonna follow us along to see her progress right Peachy? You wanna see your progress? Girl, you're such a smart girl, yeah. You're such a smart girl. Yeah, she's such a smart girl. So yeah, she's really eager right now to please. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys. Good girl, good girl. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna teach her is sit. I just have a little piece of cheese here. I'm gonna be like tearing little, little tiny pieces of it and giving it away to her when she does do it. I'm going to guide her to the sitting position with my hand. So I'm gonna show her my treat. Peach, look, good girl, good girl, good girl. Sit, good girl, good girl, good girl. And what's important too is like, for you to tell her to sit and then give her the treat, sometimes she, like, I noticed that she might start figuring out, oh, if I sit, she's gonna give me treats. So if she sits without me telling her, I won't give her a treat. Um, but I think that the next thing that we can work on for today is bite inhibition. So bite inhibition is pretty much just teaching your dog how to be very, very gentle um, when you're giving them something, um, when you're giving them a treat. So for example, for Peach, 
I am never gonna give her a treat with my hand wide open because that doesn't teach her to be gentle with her mouth. That's gonna teach her, oh, treats, gobble. So I don't want her to know that. I want her to be very, very gentle. Um, with Dante, we really enforced this with him when he was little and he's great at that. So he's very gentle when we give him anything which is great because he's such a big dog and you really don't want a dog like this to accidentally nip you um, because they're too excited about the treat or whatever you're gonna give them. So it's really important for them to know since they're very little to be very gentle when taking stuff from your hand. And one day it might not even be your hand, it might be a little toddler's hand and you want to make sure that your dog is gentle in that occasion as well. So what I'm gonna do is grab whatever I am gonna be using as a treat. In this case, I'm using cheese. And I'm going to make the cheese poke out of my hand just a little bit. Like so. And I'm gonna make her have the cheese with her, this is gonna make her have the cheese with her front teeth as opposed to gobble. So I'm gonna practice that with her. Let's see how it goes. So now I think it's a good time to teach her how to go down. So I'm gonna make her sit and I'm gonna tell her down, but I'm gonna guide her to go down. So that concludes day one of obedience training with Miss Peach over here. Since we're here talking about puppies and training and just dog training in general, there are these really, really amazing resources that you guys can use. I'll leave the link for the courses in the description below. I don't know if you guys know Will from The Canine Show. He has online classes for The Perfect Puppy and Canine Boot Camp. So check those out very very helpful very insightful i'm watching them over and over again i totally recommend them i'll leave them in the link in the description and these two are out i want to let them sleep <laughs> okay bye for now tomorrow we'll start again So yeah guys, this is pretty much our mornings now. They play, play, play. Well first they go to the bathroom, then they play, play, play. Then they wait for us to finish breakfast. And then they play, play, play again. And then they go to sleep. Yeah, so um you guys, we've introduced you guys to Peach, but we haven't introduced you to another pet that we got. <laughs> His name is Kevin. <laughs> Hey guys, so real quickly I wanted to share with you what I'm making for dinner tonight. I've had a couple of you guys um, reach out to me on Instagram asking me to share the recipes that I make. So I just thought this would be a quick way to tell you. Um, so yeah, so this is supposed to be um, slow roasted chicken with some tomato sauce and kale. Um, I can put the recipe in the description below so you guys can check it out. It's fairly, fairly easy to make. Um, really simple. First time I made it, but it's delicious and it has a lot of veggies, um, and it, but it doesn't feel like it has veggies. So it's really good. And on the side, since this is already so flavorful, I'm gonna keep the side dish pretty chill. So I'm just making some pasta. I'll probably put some olive oil on it, maybe red pepper flakes, I don't know. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight.
Down. Down. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Okay, get you ready. guys so yeah thank you for joining us on week one of peach's training um having her for this long already i'm like feeling not anxious but i'm feeling like a lot of responsibility for her i want her to be a very very well behaved dog very exemplary so i'm like trying really hard to um make this work and make her be a good dog. Right, Peachy? Right? Because she's great now, you know, she's a puppy, but the bigger she gets, she's gonna need more leadership and I need to form this bond with her now so that she knows, you wanna leave? Okay. So that she knows to look for me for direction when she's older. So I've been feeling that big responsibility lately. That was week one. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait for next week. See you guys then. <laughs> okay, don't you break? Come on, come on. Oh boy. Oh, Peachy, you can't do that one. <laughs>